Hey guys, what's going on? Doodly doo to do. This is my intro. Whoa, RJ Gaming. Bam. Okay, so soft pity, rigged rates, scripted pulls. Okay, this was taken as a screenshot from the end of uh, Scion's one of his more recent uh, one-hour-long videos. And this was at the end of his video, so I don't think a lot of people are going to see it, but I want to explain it. And I'm on his side, I, I think what he thinks on this topic. People are screaming rigged rates, uh, scripted pulls, and it's it's a pity system. Okay guys, they're just not showing the pity bar. You see the, the bar right in front of me here? This bar? This is the pity bar. Okay, and this is for one of their new fighters. That's a Makoto. She's pretty good. But 10 pulls, you get a copy. 30 pulls, you get a copy. 70 pulls, you get a copy. 90 pulls, you get two copies. Much like in Divination. Weird. Then 120, one copy. 150, two copies. 200, one copy. And then after that, no more pity. You're left up to our Lord and Savior, Savior R and Jesus, for that one. But, what does this mean? Does it mean that's the only time that you can pull copies of a character? No, of course not. The listed rates are your non-pity rates. So with Gormagala Ken, you have a 2%, 2.6% chance of pulling Gormagala Ken off of any pull. It's not a great rate um, by any means. 2% is not an awesome rate. I like to see 5%, honestly. But, that's here nor there. You can pull him off of any any pull, um, but if you don't pull him, guess what? Pity kicks in. Um, do they have to show the pity bar? No. No, they don't actually have to show the pity bar. A great example I can think of is Langrisier Mobile. I don't know if anybody's played that or not. I sure have, and they have a 100 uh, pull pity. And if you don't get the featured character within 100 pulls, on your 100th pull you get the featured character. Um, and it's a 50-50 chance usually because there's two fighters on a banner. Do they list this pity bar anywhere? No, they don't. Does this pity carry between banners? Yes, it does, but that's their game. Um, they haven't been sued for it. There's no legal repercussions. Uh, pity is not illegal. Um, and for them to stick a pity into a system and not tell you about it, it's there. Would you rather play a game without pity? That's my question. Do you, do you guys really want to play a game that has no pity system? I don't. That That's ridiculous. Okay, every game these days has a pity system, whether it's shown or not. I don't want to live in a world without pity, you know? Take pity upon me, merciful are in Jesus, because I need extra copies of a fighter, so please give them to me. That's all it is. Can you, can you get characters in between, you know, like 90 and 150 other than the 120? Yeah, absolutely. But when you hit 120, you're going to get an extra one. Does that make you sad? To know that you're going to get extra copies of a character? I don't think so. I, I don't know what the problem is, you know. But once you pass that 200, no more extra pity and so things start to feel like they've fallen off and you and you drop off a cliff because you may only get one character in every 12 to 14 pulls on divination you know i i watched uh marky mark there the other day he had a hundred divination tickets he was trying to sss his gen he only needed like six copies or something you know and you think with oh well, yeah or early divination yet yeah, because there's a pity in early divination once you run through that pity bar that you can't see behind the scenes the rates drop off so in 100 tickets he pulled one damn gen <laughs> like that's like the equivalent of 50,000 gems and if you watched my video how many bisons did I get in 40,000 gems? I got one bison in 40,000 gems. That may seem horrible, but that's actually not bad. Realistically speaking, you know, it, it's taken me the end half of that 40k, I think 15k, plus another 
15k I think it's been another 30k in total between bisons because I did get my bison this morning I hit 5,000 gems pulled on it bam bison so I got him early before I hit some hidden pity feature because I think eventually even after this pity bar runs out there's still a pity every like 65,000 gems 70,000 gems or so you're guaranteed to get a fighter so it's not it's not like it's going to save you but it 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 makes you not want to I don't know you know do something bad to yourself because you spent 100,000 gems and didn't get a character you know it is what it is but that that's how I see the pity system it's how I see the rigged rates it's uh I don't think there's a rigged rate. I don't think there's a script. I think that's just people taking anecdotal evidence and running with it, in all honesty. Um, you know, I think all that's going on here is a pity, a pity rate behind the scenes so that if you don't get it, you will get it pretty early. Um, and so low spenders, yeah, you can get something early, but are you going to, you know get get everything in you know 10 or 20 pulls no not at all especially in a game that requires so many dupes of things so that's it just agree or disagree i don't know but i really don't think that there's anything going on behind the scenes and i think it's a lot about nothing and the topic needs to go and take a long walk off a short dock because i will not be revisit revisiting this uh, topic again i i don't even want to talk about it again um, the only place I'll talk about it is down in the comments below. You gotta, you gotta talk to me there about it. Cause that's about it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, have a good one and, uh, may the script be with you. <laughs>